Hey, what is up guys? Ventric here and today I am doing a brand new video like I always do, but this time I I was very inactive. Three weeks. Sorry for that guys. That won't happen again. It's only because school I had some really big tests, so studying stuff. But anyways, enough of that. Ah. You're here for the tutorial, right? So this is how to make a profile pic. Uh, using paint.net so what you need to do is first of all get paint.net itself so what you want to do is go and download that that'll be in the description down below and also you need Google obviously um, to get your background and stuff so as when you put pull up paint.net you'll go to file then new to make a new image and for YouTube you want it 800 by 800 and for this tutorial, this profile pic is simple and clean, so it's it's professional in a simple way. So, all right, so you want to get the one tool and then do Control X to delete it, all right, like that, and head over to Google. I just did blue background, and I found a very amazing one right here. I thought it was really cool, so I'm going to right click on it. Uh, right click. Oh, there we go. Okay. Copy image. Right click. Copy image. And then go Control V. And then, all right, sweet. That's it's big size. So always click on the image because it always has small size when you automatically like copy it from when you just use it. But anyways, so for this to keep its size, do Shift and then left drag if it's really big. But if it's not big, that's okay. Then you're already set for the next step. Uh, uh, let's see. Alright. Uh, right. I think that's good. Alright. Alright. Then use the wand tool to de de deselect it. And then add a new image and then for this image you want to do a white background uh, I'll explain later uh, so get your paint tool do white you won't see a white on here because this is behind this layer see you can see it's painted all right so now what you want to do is all right add a new layer Oh wait, I forgot something. Oops. Alright. You also need another background, so this will I think I'll just make it plain white for my background. So this will be your uh like your background and then this will be the background of the background of the letter. I know that sounds confusing, but you'll understand why later. So alright. Oh, sorry. Um, what you want to do, just drag that up, alright. And then, on layer 3, you want to do a t any kind of letter, I guess the one that starts with your YouTube name for. So, for mine, I'm going to do a V. Alright, I don't, I hate doing a regular V, so. And if you want to do fonts, like get more fonts, you can get them on thefont.com. However you do it. Um, let's see. Is that look cool? I think I think the um uh, video game kind of pixely one was cool. I'll go do that one. And definitely make sure you make this one bigger. Oh goodness! All right. Oh, for if you have something that's not even big enough for. The size, alright, just left click and then shift drag to have. Oh, oh, wait, we do not want it outside the um, gray barrier thing because 
you'll just, it'll cut off whatever is in the barrier, so we don't want that to happen, so try to center it, and then, don't worry guys, this is, this isn't all, this is just the, uh, ugh, this is just the start, <laughs> so what you want to do, oh shoot, um, I meant, you probably want to use this one for this one, because it's a digital one, and, Wait, actually, I'm gonna have to shift, and then left click wand all, and then drag it beneath this layer. Alright, beneath, no, actually, oh, sorry, I'm so sorry, guys. So, like that. Alright, uh, yeah, alright, so, when you do this, go control X, and then it makes, like, a V like that, and then what you want to do is then X the letter, and then you'll have this, but then, go to effects, oh wait, oops, sorry, actually do it for the white part, and then go effects, wait, before I do this, I'm actually going to do a gradient, um, I think I'll just do some gray. Alright, uh, make it close to it ish. We don't want to make it exactly noticeable because it, alright, it will, won't look professional. So, alright, so now we're gonna have this. I did it on the circle just for this one, and then do. Shift, left click, and then drag. Drag it. Oh, wait. I think that looks good. Yeah. You barely can see it, but it still looks really nice. Alright. And then go to effects, object, drop shadow. Oh yeah, by the way, the guys, this is a plugin. Alright, and then. Oh, wow, that's actually really cool. So. Yeah, that's really cool. Wow. So, like for example, this V looks really simple, but amazing with the background and everything. So. Yeah, so this is the tutorial tutorial on how to do this profile pic. You can do it with any font. It's just this one has between the lines because it, it was digital, but with any other one it it looks amazing as well. But if you want to save it, go file, save as. And then for this one I'm gonna name it to tutorial profile pick. Alright. And then I usually make it a JPEG, and then some. I usually put it on my desktop if I wanted my profile pic, and it looks really cool. It looks really cool. So I'm gonna say OK, flatten it, <clears throat> and then as it's done, as it's saving, you're you're all done. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Make sure to smash that like button. Is it took a little for me to figure this out and see all the programs. And soon, guys, I might do to do a Photoshop tutorial if you have Photoshop and stuff. But if you don't and you say you want me to do more Paint.net tutorials, just comment down below saying you want more Paint.net tutorials rather than Photoshop. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching, and always peace out. Is it what do you see as the twisted tiles beneath our feet?